about this bridge and how it works. To begin with, this bridge is one of six retractable and floating bridges in the world. Now, we do have four of these that sit in the Seattle area. One sits in Canada, and the other right here. You are on it. This bridge is 4,700 feet long, 46 feet wide. And the cost of this bridge, $80 million. Now the part of the bridge that retracts is directly in front of us. It is the lowest part of our bridge, or the tip of the bridge, and of course this is how it works. When it retracts, what it does, folks, it lowers just above the water and then it slides underneath the other portion of the bridge. Now that's this section that you're on right now that retracts. But in fact, this section that you're on also floats on the water. Now, when it retracts, it'll take 20 minutes for it to do that procedure. 22 minutes for it to set itself back up again. When this bridge is fully open, it will open up 650 feet. That, of course, is what those big ships go right on through. In the event that the winds pick up here at 53 miles an hour and over, this bridge will not retract, although the bridge can withstand over 100 miles an hour wind. Now the first house you see to the left side of our trolley is going to be right behind those trees that house around 250 people. After the bridge was completed, the population went up to 500. Now they would like to build more homes on Fort Island for at least another thousand naval personnel. The beautiful tree that you see to the left front of us is called an Indian Banyan tree. How it grows is like this. The aerial roots or the small vines that you see hanging down this tree. If they connect with the ground, this tree, of course, will get a lot bigger. Now, on the beautiful island of Maui, the name of the town is called Lahaina. And we've got one there that sits a little over a city block. The largest Indian banyan tree sits in India. The name of the town is called Calcutta, and that tree, four acres big, that's one tree. Both the way for the body bow. That receipt that you folks use to get on board this trolley. You do need that to support the body bow, so have it ready. When you disembark my trolley, do it very carefully. Walk directly in front of the trolley towards the chain link fence. There's going to be someone there to help you folks on through. If you need to use the restrooms, please use them before you folks go on board the bow. There are no facilities available for you on board. Restrooms are located directly in front of us behind the signs that says Battleship Missouri. Nice. Cool air. Mom would like it there.